Hello everyone, my name is Victor. Welcome to my YouTube channel, I am Bird. Today we're going to go and pick some rowan berries and some rose hips uh, in a paper bag each and then I'm going to dry them. I'm drying the uh, rowan berries because I know it doesn't do any damage to its uh, nutritional value and it will make them last longer. And I am drying the rose hips because while you can make amazingly nice sweet soup with it, um, that soup is quite sugary and I'm not looking to eat anything sugary at the moment so I'll have to dry them so I can make it in a month's time or so. So the spots we're going to today I actually found yesterday um, on my morning walk vlog that you can see a link to that in the upper right corner. But hopefully we should be able to find some more while we're out walking. Like here, what do we have here? I appear to have found some more rose hips, so I'm going to pick these. Now, uh, a fair warning, as you can see, the uh, rose hip bushes have thorns on them, and it's easy enough to look out for the big ones, but I don't think I can even get it to focus, it's that small, but oh, you see that little yellow dot in the small branch here that's moving up and down? next to the little red dot in the middle, that is a thorn. And it's very easy when picking up the berries since they are on the very back, like for example here, there's a thorn where I place my thumb now. And I've already stabbed myself a couple of times because I missed them. I even regret wearing my favorite sweater today because I keep getting caught in thorns and it's pulling threads out. So we conquered the first bush and we already got a quite nice harvest. It's quite nice though that I found yet another bush of uh, rose hips because you know it's gonna be completely full next year and you know then I'll be back. Now usually people um, pick rose hips during fall or autumn whichever one you prefer but it's okay to pick them throughout all the winter. I also left a few berries because some of them were softer, so if I would have tried to squeeze them off, they would have, you know, just exploded in my hand. And also some of them had uh, bites and, you know, half of them, like half of them eaten off. And so I'm just hoping that some animal is gonna eat it and poop it out somewhere else and we get a new bush. Nice and calm as always. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Looky here. Now you spotted something. Yep. More rolling berries. <laughs> this is way more than I found yesterday. Can't believe I missed it. Hiding in plain sight. And with a view as well. I'm just gonna start picking some. I definitely won't be able to get all of it. <laughs> now, funnily enough, these are rowan berries. Um, as a kid, I remember that we thought they weren't edible. So we used to pick them and throw them at each other. <laughs> but this is my first time eating one uh, after finding out that they are edible. So I'm gonna try it. Hmm. Very sour. Probably gonna have to make like jam or something out of them. Now, in here, I've actually managed to harvest way more than I expected to. And you can see that there's still 10 times more left on the tree. So I'm just gonna come back another time. I mean, obviously I have uh, way more space left in my, my paper bag here, but I don't want to uh, pick more then I can possibly hope to, you know, consume or use for anything. So I, don't, I just don't want it to go to waste. Here's another tree. That's good to know. So they all seem to be alongside my walking route. That's great. There you might be able to see the little red dots, but there's another one. And hopefully in a few years that one will be as big as the one we started with. And Another good foraging spot. My homies, the ducks, are now occupying both of these docks. Uh, so yeah, no hope for me today again. I'll just have to come earlier. 
another tree just in between the two docks and in a few years time that one will be big and great as well. This is Rowanberry Paradise. There's another one over there too if you can see the red. For those of you wondering this is on the east coast of Sweden but I actually grew up on the west coast and there were plenty of rowan trees and rosehip bushes there as well. Here's the, the small one we encountered uh, the other day. Actually, I might take a little bit of this because they look so fresh. They look way better than the ones that we got from the other tree. Oh boy, that is beautiful. The other ones had quite a few turning black and also half eaten by birds. So I'm just going to take a little bit and uh, leave the rest for next time. Another one. Here, next to the fallen birch tree, we have the big rosehip bush that we found yesterday. So I'm going to start harvesting. Now, I got this much so far. There's a ton left. I could easily double or triple this, but uh, just as with the rowan berries, I'm going to stop for now. Because I don't think I'll be able to consume it all, even if I dry them. Um, and also, because of the moisture, the bag, the paper bag, is um, starting to break. So I need to get home before that happens. Taking the usual route to see if uh, Stephanie has been covered up. Although very, very small, just up the hill here, there is a another rosette bush. So maybe in a few years. I know that since I'm drying them, I could virtually, you know, pick any amount since I'm going to conserve them in a way, but I'm starting little because I'm quite new at this, so, you know, maybe, maybe next week or next time I go out, I'll grab 10 times more. Who knows? Oh, no, no, no. Stephanie, come on. Still not covered up. Looking at the name Stephanie and having <laughs> the, uh, letter being read. It's almost like its name is Stefan I. Well, let's forget about that and get home to drying these. So, we're now back home um, with our harvest. And before I start the drying process, I'm gonna have to clean them. I do apologize for the noise that is coming from the uh, compressor on our fridge. So, we got them all here, um, the rose hips. So. I'm going to be taking off the like excess piece of wood and any leaves that might be in here. So I washed them and now it's time to um, start getting rid of all of this little, little extra bits. And they're done. I have taken away all the sticks, you can see that there. And it's time to put them in the oven once that's done. But while we wait for the oven to heat up to 70, uh, we'll see what it is at the moment. 35, uh, we're going to clean the rowan berries. Here we go, I have washed uh, the rowan berries, but I still need to take out all the sticks, uh, the little black ones here, and a bunch of leaves that I got <laughs> with it. Now, I read online that this is supposed to take five to six hours on 70 degrees but this is a restaurant grade oven and in my experience it usually does things a little bit faster and so I've set the timer to three hours don't worry I'm adjusting it it won't be you know so it's been 12 minutes since we put the rose hips in so I think that is going just fine and as you can see from this beautiful red uh, I managed to get about 90% of the bullshit away from it, and that's here. Um, so the next step is to prepare a newspaper. So I have decided to use this table, and I'm just going to have to make sure to put many, many layers of newspaper to make sure that I don't damage the table itself, because uh, I would use this, but we need those, so I can't have it sitting around for days on end. <sighs> and 
And here we go. The rowan berries are going to dry just fine in room temperature. Um, and yeah, this is basically it. Um, I'm probably thinking that I'm going to be making jam with them, but I'm drying them so that I can wait and do it later because right now I, I'm not in the mood for sugary things. So thank you so much for watching this video. I know I haven't been able to show the uh, dried state of the rowan berries or the rose hips yet, but that will be coming as updates snuck into future videos. So stay tuned, subscribe, like, all that stuff, and comment new project suggestions because that really helps me out. And thank you for helping me fight my boredom. Peace.